people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac pase, what they do. So the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see it happen once again, it happened one more again. We see that a next businessman, we see that the body of a next businessman was found. And we are speaking about a 52 year old man and his name is Rick Sams. And he is from Upton. We are speaking about in Otterius. We are speaking about in St. Anne's. So according to the Popo report, it is said that the BODY was found on Cottage Road. We are speaking about in Otterius. We are speaking about in St. Anne's. And the reports also said that they got an anonymous tip from a man. And when they went there, they found the B-O-D-Y, basically gone R-I-P. And we are speaking about this accord at about 7.30. We are talking about 7.30 in the evening. So it is said that the B-O-D-Y was also found with a hole in the head. We are talking about in the face. So we are talking about it seems like that was the cause of D-E-A-T-H. And it was said that there was also two spent shell around the B-O-D-Y. Now people, when we listen to this on a regular basis, because it seems like every week we hear the same thing. It sounds like a revolving door. It sounds like an echo. So we have asked ourselves the question, when they take away all of the progressive persons in Jamaica, specifically in this tourist place, what are they going to do? What are all these worthless low lives going to do? We are talking about the people that are committing all these C-R-I-M-E-S. If you are taking away the persons that are providing job employment, if you are taking away the people that are actually paying tax, the people that are contributing to society in a positive way, what is going to happen? It is only going to get worse. So the moral of the story is this, and this is basically a question to all you knuckleheads, you little numbskull, you little waste man that consider yourself to be some G-A-N-G-S-T-E-R-S or some dance, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. When you take away all the constructive, progressive people in out of society, what is going to happen in St. Anne's? What is going to happen to St. James and places like those where the CRIME rate is very high? It is going to be left as one big wasteland, point blank and period. Because people, this makes absolutely no sense. And what is even more disturbing is that most of the time, they are slapping away these persons for a watch or a chain or a phone. Rete or lele, some minuscule, some little fufu stuff, some petty stuff. So people, it seems like we are dealing with some C-R-A-C-K head, G-U-N-M-E-N, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called double standard. And when I speak about double standard, I am speaking about the double standard in the law as it pertains to rich people, uptown people, and specifically in this case, I am speaking about the Chinese. Now, of late, we hear the Pope, the security minister, and all government officials, minister of entertainment, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling, are up in arms about this noise abatement act. And specifically, they are targeting the dancehall artists, the dancehall selectors, sound system, and such. However, it seems like this law, this rule does not apply. I am speaking about the Noise Abatement Act. It seems like it does not apply to the Chinese. It seems like the Chinese have a green light. It seems like the Chinese are immune to every other rules and law in Jamaica. They can do whatever they so choose because like them say, the person with the money have the most talk and money talk and BS walk. So anyways, like I said, we are speaking about the Noise Abatement Act. Now people, we see that the Chinese have been doing a lot of construction in our Jamaica. And we kind of applaud it because we need the infrastructure. We need to be driving around and not stuck in some traffic congestion. So it is a good look. However, we know that there is good and bad in everything. So people like me say we depend on the Noise Abatement Act. 
And basically what this law is intended for is to respect your neighbor, respect your neighbor's privacy, respect your neighbor's rights to get their rest so therefore they can go to work in the next day and have a progressive day. And basically add to the constructive development of Jamaica, the GDP rate and lele. However, we see that this does not apply to the Chinese. So people take a listen, take a look to these videos and these videos were taken at different increments. These videos were taken after 12 p.m., after 4 a.m. and also after 6 Alright people, so it's um, after 12 midnight. Right here, the government that are both nice and these men These are the Chinese working in a residential area after 12 midnight when people are supposed to go to work this is 12 midnight after 12 that means them Tuesday morning 12 something and here the big old truck them the dumper truck them see the director with them a take later off but we just are showing how these people can consider it I am only showing you the double standard that exists so the bright bright light at the back of people place some apartment complex uptown so the bright light after midnight them are come all hours a night with these truck, these dumper truck them every equipment and them make up here nice them not care about the people them we have to go and work on mine however we see them always bashing the dance hall artists so people we just like their example of the double standard that exists in Germany we have the generator run. See, you know this is a whole bunch of apartment complex. Alright, stay at my case later. It's a minute to 4. 4 a.m. in the morning. The Chinese have the murder for them out there. I make up fear and heavy equipment. People are supposed to are sleeping. So you hear the minister talk about now is a Vietnam act. This is quarter to four Tuesday morning and the Chinese are make up here now is with them. Truck that trailer truck. The whole nine yards. See there? Uptown this you know. Apartment building them. This is another life. Them not give a damn about nobody but themselves. The Chinese have a new set of rules. But the dance all people empty and break or nobody else not Jamaica make a break. However the Chinese them can do it. So I just make one know, I just make one see. So Andrew the wholeness, the Minister of Workshop, or uh, whoever else, security minister we are talking about Mr. Aureus Chang, Dr. Aureus Chang, Sita, this a pro. On a full of years. Four o'clock a morning, Minister Four a morning. I'm going to come here now, it's not be for me about They were working straight through the night, see? It's after 6 o'clock Jamaica time right now. Here the generator is still around. 6 o'clock a morning, this has been going on since last night. This has been going on for the past almost a week now. Every morning, every noon, every evening, every night, every week hours of the morning. Them are run generator, tractor, heavy equipment, all kind of stuff. We are talking about the Chinese the construction that they are doing in the corporate era. And people just are up down to the building and then. And I like Tivoli Gardens are them places. So this. just imagine what they would do if them go at Tivoli Gardens. If this is a place where a lot of working people, 9 to 5 corporate people live. I just to show you the blade then disregard with these Chinese of the Jamaica and what they are allowed to do by this government of Jamaica. So people, the point that I am trying to make is that it seems that the noise abatement law does not apply to the Chinese because when they are disturbing the citizens, we are speaking about the residents in Jamaica. 
and people take into consideration that this is a residential area. Most of the people here, we are speaking about 95% of the persons that live in this neighborhood, they are working people, they are constructive people. So therefore, they are disturbed all night. We are talking about, and this has been going on for in excess of about a week. So people, let me ask you a question. Doesn't this law apply to the Chinese? People, let me know what you think in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that, and like me it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up